thought I'd make a brief comment on current events. Not so much pertaining to my life, but uh, in life in general. And uh, I think that the most prominent issue at the moment has been the elections in America. And uh, for me, it has always been an absolutely clear-cut thing that regardless of how horrible what Mr. Trump says and how unpleasant he is in his certain de demeanour, he still stands uh, for Israel. That's one, that's one big thing. And then he uh, is pro-life, uh, whereas Hillary is pro-life term, sorry, late term abortion. So basically a baby can be half born, uh, completely healthy live baby could be half born and metal object shoved in his brain, killing it, and then the organs are harvested for uh, medical purposes, for medical companies basically. Uh, and this is what Hillary stands for. So just be for those two reasons, I think there's no way that a Christian uh, could ever even consider voting for Hillary, even though Trump is, I, I think I once said that it's a bit like choosing between Black Plague and AIDS, that which one would you take? Uh, uh, now, um, now when I'm, I'm funny. I program, and what I do is I have my earphones on all day, every day, and what I do is I listen to sermons and uh, I listen to uh, political debates and people who what do you call it, say or uh, are opinionated. I've kind of I'm currently I'm not so into music which I previously used to do. I used to listen to music a lot. But now uh, but knowing this what has been funny I have past or maybe I would say acquaintances uh, or well we would we would discuss and have a talk and we would be alright if we would see in public but I mean, they're not friends that I would see them, or that I would invite them over for dinner. But, but anyway, there are a lot of Christian people who are, what do you call it, they, they just completely say that, yeah, Hillary is the next best, best thing after sliced bread. And uh, what do you call it? That they're shocked that Trump was uh, selected to be the next president. But yeah, it's weird. And then, uh, what do you call it? The reason why uh, the reason why they're saying that Trump is a bad choice is 
because he might change the abortion rules or laws in America. Sorry? I thought that we were Christians and life is sacred from the minute of conception to the very last dying breath. Life is sacred. We don't go for abortion in any case. I would I'd be hard pressed to say that let's say God forbid that that would ever happen. It's a, it's a horrible idea to think. But if one of my daughters got pregnant because a rape or there's some something completely a horrid thing, but still that I could not write that wrong by killing the baby if it would be up to me. But anyway, some Christians are saying that, yeah, because Trump is going to modify the abortion laws, we can't select him. Because then Christian or women would go to hidden abortion clinics and it, that might cause uh, difficulties or problems to them. It's, it's not even in the same ballpark. Is it government sanctioned to murder your own people? Or whether one individual goes and murders their own people? They're like two completely different things. Uh, yeah. It's an interesting, it's an, yeah. An interesting subject. Oh yeah. Looking at my nose. When you record on iMovie, you see a preview uh, of what you're actually recording, and I can't but notice my nose and the killer dog has been taken to the breeder, to meet Kelly, and uh, he'll spend a week there, being trained a little. And apparently she had glued his ears and cut his nails without a muscle. So. I think the trick that she mentioned was that you need to hold him and wait until he's calm and then you cut them. But I don't. But there's been a long rant. I need to buy my iHerb stuff. Friday night, put my backpack on to do my thing But the Bowser wouldn't let me in He just stood there with so, a stupid grin Last time I found presentable, but today is my father's 70th birthday And we're driving up to Lahti To... to I can't remember what the restaurant name was. I think we had mum's 60th birthday there. But let's see. <clears throat> and uh, the present, I'm not going to post this before the party is over, so I'm not spoiling anything. Now, we went ahead and <coughs> bought him a ticket to first one to London. This is on Finnair and for some weird God's grace uh, the plane flying to London is this Finnair's new wide body Airbus which has 
phenomenal business uh, accommodation. <coughs> so that's that's what's gonna take us to London, and then it's two-hour delay at Heathrow, after which it's a flight up to Glasgow uh, on British Airways. And uh, that then has its own envelope like this. I met, I asked the girls to, I asked the girls to create these uh, yesterday. And then, this is a family effort, so me and Patel are uh, putting, putting up the airplane tickets and uh, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a Scottish, there's a reason why we're flying. There's a Scotland versus England qualifying game. Uh, there. It must be for the World Championships because the European Championships were just a minute ago. And then the girls, I'm waiting for this one. They have got us, apparently it's an old church, through Airbnb. And uh, they've reserved this. An old church with rooms in it. And they were going to stay there. Hope we get all, all the dates and stuff like that correctly. Uh, but yeah, interesting. I'll record a couple of sentences more when, when we return from the party. And now, finally, the, the person handling our new business they have now said that, okay, the name is now going to be Runo Varhais Kasvatus and Runo, uh, sorry, quote, quote train early childhood education. Or I'm hoping that they'll accept early education, that the childhood could be drawn. The shorter the better. But the names are now, they have, they have something that they'll, they'll go with. And then, what else? And now we have all the signatures online, everybody has signed their thing and that we can move ahead and actually bind this facility. And hopefully we'll have it bought by in the next week come next Friday but let's see because now here comes the bit where the money's made is the lower we can squeeze the the price the more the money that we make and so not something and since there he's gonna be the managing director uh, she needs to participate in everything in surrounding this, uh, what do you call it, buying of the facility. She has already picked up a new one that looks interesting in Basila. Let's see how that goes. But now, I go tidy myself and uh, uh, prepare for roles. So. But I kept trying, cause he don't know the moves that I'm supplying. I'll take my glasses, I'm gonna bounce back up and kick some masses. I've waited long. So, let's try that. So yeah, today, oh, let's finish the story. The celebrations for Rob's 70th, they went well, and uh, I think our, our gift was well received. But it'll be interesting to see 
how it will go. There he, and um, well, we had uh, a WhatsApp brainstorming about what our business could do. Maybe we we could actually move beyond <coughs> beyond kindergarten stuff. But no, it's, it's early days. Uh, what else? Yeah, I got a new pit. Oh, yeah, that. Also, that was this place, Taivar Randa, or whatever it is, Peli. It cost 42 euros. And the salad buff buffet. Or they, they called it the starter. It was a salad buff buffet that would be, or is trumped by most lunch salad bars. Uh, and then the piece of salmon, it was, there was no uh, acidity in the sauce or anything that would cut the greasiness in it. Was, the dish wasn't that good. So, but 42, you'll eat with. In a Michelin restaurant for that price, one dish or maybe two small ones. So, not good. Wasn't very happy. Don't know if I showed you these. This is what happened to my previous. Ray-Ban spectacles and the insurance does not cover these. I, I was a bit disliking that they were falling off easily but the dog ate them. I would have, I helped, I had them on but now I've got a new pair today. Yes and they, they look a bit high. I have a similar style that goes on. These are the previous ones that are, they're also broken there. It's cracked and it's with, it holds on with super glue. Another thing that is, well it's not broken. If you think why the sound quality isn't that good, this one has run out of battery. This battery goes in there, but if it has a switch, switch here and if you forget to switch it off then it drains the battery in a day or so. It's not that fast to drain it but it does drain it. What else? Yeah, oh yeah we made an offer of the Runolian Polku place and uh, now the the church council, or whatever church board, or whatever it is, they they have a meeting on the eighth of December, and after if it gets accepted, the offer, then there is a two week two week complaint period because of the public instance selling it that if it's not going to go through, and. Uh, yeah. But we we need money. But our business idea is that it, that it need, needs to be cash flow positive. Even with loans and all of that, we need to be making money off of them so that we're not forking out money. Yeah. So we're we need to get capital to buy these facilities or properties or houses or whatever it is. But it's interesting. MS has stated at bay it's it, I remember it every day and I have problems walking, I'm unstable 
uh, yeah, I made a mistake today. I went to this uh, burrito joint, joint, and I thought that yeah, maybe they might do something with beans. And I read the thing, and it was beans and rice and whatever goes in. And I thought that that's a vegetarian one. And I told the lady, yeah, I'll take that vegetarian, and then I gave the Mexican name of it. Uh, and she, uh, yeah, and asked it, it to be gluten free. They had that, so I think the salesperson they were just focusing on it being gluten free. Put it together, and then I, I've eaten it nearly completely. I saw the menu written uh, in Finnish on the side of the wall, and then it said, "This might be in burrito," and the main meat ingredients was ox, haraka, and I was like. But then again, if when I looked at the contents of it, I couldn't even recognize that it was meat while I was eating it. Didn't taste anything special. Uh, it's, so I have involuntarily jumped off my red meat, anti-red meat wagon, fallen off. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's that bad because. Oh, I, I, well, let's see what happens. But the theory is that saturated fat, it is now circulating in my blood, and when it gets into my brain, it clogs up a vein, and my blood squirts into my brain, causing lesions, which will then do something. Or, sorry, this is my theory, and the theory of a couple of doctors. Uh, uh, that, well, the doctors, they don't combine this. Uh, uh, there's a theory about it being a blood vessel illness, where the blood leaks into the brain. And then there's a theory about low-fat diet. Uh, so, and then the CCSVI, which is basically opening up your arteries and your neck, the veins here. So I think that it is, it is something to do with that. But anyway, Jesus is my king.